gotten a lot of brain surgery patients. Craniotomies are pretty common. Isn't it scary? Oh yeah, I've taken care of patients where they literally like cut their whole head open. And they come like after surgery and like their blood is still seeping out of like the skull. And like you can tell that it's like the brain juices because... Um... <laughs> Because when you... There's a test that you can test for if someone has, like, a brain um, injury. Usually, if they have, like, blood that's coming out of their nose or their ears, you can test it to see if there's any um, brain fluid in there, what we call cerebral spinal fluid. Because you dab it on a piece of paper or on a piece of gauze, and if, if the blood separates from this, like, clear liquid, so it looks like a dab of blood, but then, like, water surrounding it, that clear liquid is actually cerebral spinal fluid. Because you know, usually when you dab blood, it doesn't like separate or anything, right? It just becomes saturated with red. But sometimes it gets... it splits out. And there's like a clear liquid that's surrounding the bloody area. And that is brain fluid. And that's how you can tell when, that their brain is, is injured if their blood has that fluid in it. And that's when you know, oh, emergency brain surgery time! <laughs> Yeah, it's super cool. <laughs> Welcome to the Athi experience. 